Man, I need a video for today. I guess I could go onto YouTube and maybe get inspired or something. Okay, Ooh, let's go to the Playmaker Duel Links channel and see what spicy decks he's come up. Oh, snap. He got a competitive Electromatic Warriors. Hmm, maybe, maybe I should go try this deck out. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. And today I'm going to be showcasing you guys my more budget-friendly magnet deck for all of you guys. As you guys know, and what you can tell from the intro little skit, uh, that I showcase in this video is that uh, my deck is going to be uh, was inspired by Playmaker Duel Links deck, but I made a lot of adjustments to mine since I didn't have all the cards that Playmaker has because Playmaker's deck was pretty loaded with Tides of Brethren, three copies of both Alpha and Gamma, and I just did not pull that well. So I did not get three copies of both the Alpha and Gamma Electromatic Warriors. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a more budget friendly deck. So that is pretty good. But yeah, if you guys are excited for today's Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video, as always, be sure to go hit that like button on the video down below. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so you guys get notified when I drop more Yu-Gi-Oh related videos and stuff like that because I still have a lot of other decks to try out like I'm thinking about building some legendary dragon shenanigans I got some other like let me go get my list right here we got trying out try and burst dragon I'm going to be trying out guardian eat them Oreos like there's a lot of decks that I'm going to be creating and con and making content for so be sure to stay tuned to the channel and all the good stuff right there and then also be sure to go check out playmakers video if you haven't already I mean most of you guys probably have but if you haven't you can go check it out top right corner be sure to go watch that after this video but with Without further ado, let's go into the epic deck of this, uh, of my magnet deck, my budget magnet deck. Let's get into it. Here's my more budget friendly magnet deck. I know not every free to play player is going to be able to build a deck like this, but I'm just being honest right here. This deck isn't like the most crazy a deck to build in the world. You can get most of these cards being a free to play player if you just play the game enough. So yeah, let's get into it. Today we're going to be rocking two copies of Berserkatron. We're going to be rocking three copies of Delta Magnet Warrior. We're going to be running one copy of Block Dragon. We're going to be rocking two copies of Electra Alpha, the Electromatic Warrior. If you have three copies of this card, I strongly recommend rocking three copies of this card. But if not, then you're just going to have to run as many as you want. Minimum of one try to go to three if you can uh, another card that we have is gamma electromatic warrior same thing if you have two copies you have three copies of it run this card sadly since i only have one copy of it i'm only running one copy of this card but just keep in mind if you have two or three copies of it run it just run the dang cards already next up we have one copy of beta electromatic warrior only can get one copy of it and then we have two copies of beta electromatic warrior all these cards uh berserkatron uh block dragon alpha and gamma are all uh cards you can get from the guardians of rock mini box so keep Keep in mind of that when it comes to getting delta the magnet warrior all you need to do is go into the card trader so that's a completely free to play card right there uh to get to beta electric magnet warrior you're going to need to go into the yugi level up reward uh to get beta the electromagnetic warrior which i'm just subbing in as just uh, extra rock father you just get it rock fodder you just get it from yugi moto it's just a good beat stick to uh win some duels right there so that's why we're rocking that when it comes to back row honestly the only back row i just recommend you guys to play or just spell and trap cards to play is that if you have down beat you need to run this card this card is a must for this deck, and you can go into some insane combos with Down B. Down B is from the Abyss Encounters box. Be sure to go fish into this box to get one to two, or just get two copies of Down B. If you have three, I'd rock recommend rocking three because this card is insanely good for the deck. Basically, one insane combo they can do with Down B is that if you, um, basically, this is how kind of the combo goes. If you have Delta the Magnet Warrior and you have Down B, you're going to be able to pop off and do some crazy shenanigans right here. So what happens is that you're going to be playing Delta the Magnet Magnet Warrior, okay? You're going to be playing Delta the Magnet Warrior and you're going to be pitching in um, either your Gamma or Beta. I usually go for my Beta because uh, it's like a one of in my deck. So usually what I do is that I pitch Delta and I go into a uh, Beta. Now, if you have Alpha in your hand, what you're going to want to do is that you're going to want to um, Special Summon Gamma through Downbeat's effects. If you didn't know already, Tribute one face of monster, Special Summon from your deck one monster with the same original type and attribute as that tributed monster on the field, but one level lower. You only can activate Downbeat once per turn. So basically, if you have Alpha in your hand, I strongly recommend to summon Delta, pitch your beta, use down beats and on your delta send delta to the graveyard to special summon your gamma from your deck use gamma's effect where if you know if this card is normal special summon you can special summon one level four lower magnet warrior from your hand use gamma's effect to special summon alpha from your hand and then what you can do is that once you special summon alpha from your hand you can use its effect to search out for your berserkatron and then you have all the materials to go and summon your berserkatron in attack position so basically just like three three cards alone or these three cards alone are just really good now if you have three copies of both alpha and gamma you're going to be able to consistently go out into berserkatron pretty much every duel because of the fact that it's just so consistent but if not like me you're not going to be able to go for this combo all the freaking time which does suck 
um, but it's still downbeat. Very, very good card. Another really good card for this archetype is Trimid Pulse. I like this card a lot. You get this card from the um, card trader, so it's a free to play card. And this card's really good and it's going to help you out to really get the upper hand on some decks because since we don't have all the cards to build the most broken version of this Magnum deck, we're going to have to substitute with Trimid Pulse because this card is going to give us a lot of options to really get the upper hand on our opponent, as you saw from the 6 Sam replay. And I don't know if I'm going to put replays at the beginning of the video or end of the video, but it is what it is. You, you'll see the replay at some point. But what was really cool about Trimid Pulse is that once per turn, you can banish two cards from your graveyard, any combination of rock type monsters, field spell cards, and then activate one of these effects. The effect that I use the most personally is target one other face up card of the field and destroy. Trimid Pulse is going to be great for dealing with a Buster Blader. Buster Blader, you can destroy uh, the Buster Blader cards. You can destroy the DNA surgery. You can destroy the Buster Blader fusion. That's pretty good with Trimid Pulse right there. Uh, with Trimid Pulse, I was able to uh, get the upper hand against six Sams and stop them from summoning their six Sam cards. So that was pretty good right there. And just in general, the fact that it can destroy cards is pretty nice. So if you can't get out to your Berserkatron really quick, just keep popping your opponent's field with Trimid Pulse. This card is crazy good, and I'd recommend rocking two copies of it and all that stuff. Other than that, besides Trimid Pulse and Downbeat, back row is up to you. Personally, I'm rocking uh, Enemy Control and Treacherous Trap Pull to get the upper hand of my opponent to really get some advantage going. So, you know, Econ Take, get, uh, do some OTKs, uh, try a Treacherous Trap Pull, I can pop two cards in the field. They're really nice right there. And then I have Cosmic Cyclone and Galaxy Cyclone for just the um, back row destruction, because back row has been pretty heavy as of late in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Link, so just having an extra card to get rid of back row is very nice um, right there. And yeah, that's kind of it for this deck list. I mean, Block Dragon's also a spicy card that I threw in here, because a budget reasons. This card's really uh, nice to summon into because you just banish three um, rock monsters from a graveyard or hand to special summon this card. Really nice card. And then I'm rocking Tides of Bind to get that extra damage to go for some OTKs. And that's kind of it. I don't want to dive too, too, too much into this deck, but enjoy the replays and all that stuff. Or if I put the replays at the beginning of this episode, then you enjoy that and all that good stuff from there. But yeah, it's going to be it. Hope you enjoy and enjoy, you know, the rest of the video or whatever I've decided to do because I still have not decided if I'm going to do replays at the beginning or end of the video. But yeah, like and subscribe and all that good stuff right there.